smoke rises from the mountain of doom. The world needs lots of saving, but we also need to enjoy it while we have it just in case nukes start flying around before we can actually do something about it. So here's what I propose. We go to my place, we have some red wine, both of us take off our clothes and then you lay down or stand in a way that allows me to put my aroused genital situation into yours. I'm telling you, this is all the rage. Everybody's saying that this feels very, very nice. What's that? Oh, you don't exist. Well, I guess that's a fair point. Never mind then. You know what? Actually, no. Tinder exists, okay? And women there are into this kind of thing. Seriously, they'll let you cup of fill and everything. I mean, if they like you, they don't just let everybody do that. But still, this app is supposed to help the romantically inclined, or even if you're just feeling a little bit stiff, you know. And I want to fuck. I want to fuck until my dick falls off. Let's just download and install Tinder, set up a profile, add some pictures with the body that we're trying to satisfy from a carnal standpoint. So this would be my own body in this case. And um, there's also a section where you can add some texts, like a joke or something. Now, you need to use your imagination. And just based on how the person looks, you need to imagine what it would feel if you were to kiss that person on the mouth. If you get stomach spasm and partially digested food starts shooting up towards your mouth, that means you need to swipe left. If, on the other hand, you feel more of that sensation in the pants that drove you to make a Tinder account, then I want to fuck, 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 then swipe right. Now, if you feel nothing at the sight of the person, depending on how attractive you are, you can either swipe left or right. Obviously, if you're a troll, swipe right. But all this swiping business is kind of difficult to automate, so maybe let's just use the heart and X buttons in the web version of Tinder on a Chrome instance controlled by Selenium. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, teach this stomach churning feeling, or lack thereof, to a neural model. So let's detect these two actions, take a screenshot whenever we like or dislike, crop the screenshot so that we only keep the picture and every time we click on like the picture goes into the like pile. Every time we click the X it goes into the dislikes pile. And we need to do this for a while because we'll use these pictures as training data for our initial neural network. So this will be supervised learning because we have the data labeled and at the input we'll have as many nodes as we have pixels in the picture and of course just two options for the output. She's either hot or not. However, we do need a bunch of hidden layers, all fully connected because establishing hotness is a bit more abstract than deciding whether or not an image contains a cat. So I'm going with a very specific type of neural architecture here and the activation function for each layer will be ReLU, then as loss function we'll use sparse categorical cross entropy and it's weird that we even have to talk about this, but obviously for the optimizer we have to go with the Adam version of stochastic gradient descent. And train it for about 15 epochs at medium heat, stirring occasionally. If you get at least 75% accuracy on the test data set, just move on, don't try to optimize. I mean, there's more people than just looks, okay? The next stage in the Tinder courtship process is to chat. Let's grab a few clickable elements for switching between sections and also for clicking on new matches. Now let's create a method to figure out if we have new matches. We're gonna want to manually define a few openers in an array of strings like hello, what the business or can I tie you up? I mean whatever you would say, however you would start to chat. You're about to get some dick. Then we'll keep a log for each chat because we'll use that as prompt for our incredibly smart natural language model. I'm using GPT-3, but you use, you know, whatever you have around the house. Um, basically, I'm feeding the entire conversation as input to the GPT-3 model on each request. But here's the twist. I'm in Bucharest and the ladies around here speak Romanian while GPT-3 only speaks English. So I'm sending the text to AWS for translation and it's going to detect the language. If it's in English, then it'll just leave it that way. But if it's in Romanian, then we need to take note of that. And then we translate it back when we reply to the lady. 
that's the basic chat mechanism but we need to now code the logic for the situational awareness meaning that we need to keep track of what screen we're on and you know how many conversations we have how long it's been since the last interaction for each one and whose turn it is to speak randomize the time it takes for uh, the reply because we uh, you know our bot can reply in less than a second if you, we wanted to but that would obviously give away its non-human quality or at the very least just project colossal thirst so no reply sooner than one minute less than the time it took for our match to reply and even if the conversation is really vigorous no replies in less than 12 seconds because if we go too quick it's gonna seem non-human and the last part is of course to ask the lady out on a date so let's code that in. After at least 20 exchanges, we manually send this line. Hey, how about a drink with me in the near future? Now, we can't be sending the next reply to GPT-3, so we need another simple neural network just to parse this reply. Uh, we'll train on everything that might be a yes, and then everything that might be a no or undecided. And we're gonna have these options as the training data, if the lady says yes then she wants to meet serve the next line with a link to your calendly so she can pick a time when you're available you probably want to make a separate event in your calendly profile just for dating if she says no you may want to reply with something along the lines of may all your family take turns riding my baloney okay it's very important that you don't let any rejection just slide now we can just focus on doing God's work or whatever it is that you do you know and every once in a while we'll just get a notification with the saying that you have a date with a girl and theoretically it's a girl that you like at least physically now quality assurance well this is where you get to pork the <laughs> I spoon and covering the